Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. Split Second has been off for the last week because I was working at Grand Prix Richmond, one of three Grand Prix events that took place this weekend featuring Amoncat Limited. First up, Grand Prix Beijing was taken down by Kelvin Chu, who drafted an aggressive red-white deck in the top eight that included five copies of Cartouche of Zeal. Over in Bologna, Corrado De Sio raised the trophy on Sunday after defeating gold-level pro Martin Yuza in the finals. While Amonkhet has generally been viewed as an aggressive limited environment, DeCio's top 8 blue-white draft shows that a slightly more tempo-based strategy is viable, with two Avon Wind Guide, Curator of Mysteries, Commit to Memory, and an Open Into Wonder to get through the final damage. Finally, with Pro Tour Amonkhet coming up this weekend in Nashville, several pro players headed to Grand Prix Richmond to get in some limited tournament experience. With a top 8 that consisted of 2016 World Champion Brian Brown Doohan, Pro Tour Dragons of Tarkir Champion Martin Dang, and Pro Tour Cons of Tarkir Top 8 competitor Tiago Saporito, it was Michael Baranicki in his first Grand Prix Top 8 who took home the trophy. Baranecki had only drafted Amonkhet twice before the top eight, both on that very same Sunday. His black-red deck consisted of two mythics in Liliana Death's Majesty and Bantu the Glorified, along with the rare Neheb the Worthy, but it was a timely fling that took down his opponent, Ely Cassis, in the finals. Last week, Wizards of the Coast made an announcement that the rules for Commander on Magic Online would be changing, with a single ban list that applied to both 1v1 and multiplayer games, but it was designed with 1v1 in mind. After much discussion on social media between players, Senior Product Manager for Magic Online Chris Kiritz made a post to the Magic Online Tumblr stating that a separate multiplayer ban list would be created online that reflects the paper ban list. This changeover will not take place until Hour of Devastation is released online on July 5th, and the single ban list will be implemented starting today. In the past, Magic has collaborated with outside properties, such as the Disney film The Sorcerer's Apprentice, creating a collectible coin with the New Zealand Mint, and the Funko Pop Planeswalker figurines. In their newest collaboration, several iconic Magic characters will now have their own skin pack in the massively popular game Minecraft. Characters such as Nicol Bolas, Avacyn, and Emrakul will be available alongside Planeswalkers like Liliana, Jace, Chandra, and Ajani. Just like most Minecraft skin packs, a few of the characters will be available for free, and the whole package is available to purchase. Finally, a recent post on the Ask a Magic Judge Tumblr notes a strange interaction in Standard that might catch players off guard. At first glance, the combination of Kalidus, Traitor of Get, and Anointed Procession seems to work the way you would think, allowing the player who is controlling both to create two zombie tokens when an opponent's creature dies. However, due to the wording on Anointed Procession, this only happens when a creature your opponent controls would die to a spell or ability resolving, and not when the creature is sacrificed as a cost or dies from lethal damage. On Twitter, Magic Mike's host Evan Irwin voiced his displeasure with the interaction, and Senior Design Director Aaron Forsyth replied that it's on their radar meaning that an errata could be on its way. That's our show for today, May 10th. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second. To get some, ugh, Evan Orban, ugh, ugh. ugh. In May 10th, ugh. <laughs> oh, man. That's what happens when you're off for a week. <laughs>